Hello fellow Scorpios, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. We're going to be, if you have Scorpio predominantly in your chart, this will be for you. Scorpio, thank you for being here and, you know, supporting my work. Thank you for the like button. Thank you. And also thank you for subscribing, hitting the all bell. I'm sure you, you, uh, if you connect to the reading, you would do that. For whoever you are, may you be blessed and encouraged on your journey. Angelic protection for my Scorpio particularly. And by the way, I do have a really, really strong Scorpio channel just for you. It's called Your Wellness seven set tarot seven 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 on youtube your wellness tarot seven 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 go type that up and you'll find me and you'll find yourself and there's a lot of great scorpios showing up i'm real happy about that okay all right a lot of powerful people showing up and very loving and supportive and also a lot of spiritual warriors welcome thank you for being here we're going to take a look at the Energy Spirit Oracle for the month of April for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Yes, cross watchers are welcome. Hi. Um, also, positive feedback. You know, how about some comments? You know what I mean? I'd like to know what's on your all's mind. What's showing up in the Energy Spirit is peaceful pursuits, relaxation, taking time out, seeking something that pleases your soul. Tapping into your sensitivities, your... <coughs> Excuse me. I <clears throat> hmm. wonder where that came from. Tapping the forces within. Some of you are going on a vacation, a retreat. Some of you are just taking time out to tap in. Tune out and tap in. Yes. Heal your soul. Archangel Fanuel is here to tell you that whatever you decide, you're, you have to do it with hope. You have to have optimism so that you can stir up the energies in the universe to respond to your heart's desire. It's energetic, it's spiritual, and it is um, rather esoteric. Nobody knows that better than Scorpios does. New beginnings, honey, and achievement, Scorpios. Completing and getting the completion and rewards, something's going to show up. It's going to blow your mind because you did this type of work for yourself. And you took conscious steps towards your well-being and towards your future. Uh, and you're looking forward. You have hope and optimism. And it's very powerful. All right? Wow. Okay. Scorpio. You could be... We have the, the, um, the numbers we have here are 3, 16, 20, 26, and 39. These could be birth dates. These could be your lover's birth dates. These could be something, a date that you have planned to go somewhere, do something. Think about that, okay? Conscious steps towards achievement through peace, healing, and relaxation. Or somebody's actually going for some healing. And believe me, with that reading, you're going to get it. Scorpios, give me just one quick second. I gotta go plug this other phone in because I'm uploading a Scorpio video to the other channel. Yes, I am. All right, Spirit, guide and protect. Thank you. Upload that quickly. Thank you. All right, Scorps. Scorpio, my lovely Scorpio. You know what? You're the one channel I didn't do any energy clearing for, so I'm gonna do it right now. Spirit, come in and cleanse the energy around me, my business, my Scorpios who are on the upright, and protect them from any wicked force that's trying to block their future, their peace, trying to keep them from healing and resolving issues, trying to keep them from their highest form, their highest opportunities, and their highest love. We're asking for protection on that and divine guidance on that as well for the Scorpios. Spirit. Let's fire up this Palo Santo real quick. Ooh. Shoot. All right, Scorpio. That's good enough for you. Scorpios, as above, so below. Everything and anything unholy has got to go. See my evil eye pin? Oh, yeah, we're not playing. Yeah, we're Scorpios. We, are, we know about all the etherics. We know about the energies. We know about the divine. We are very, very uh, intuitive, and most of us are pretty psychic. Before I go, uh, before I 
Let me get out of here. Thank you so much, the Most High, for this beautiful Scorpio reading. I'm going to bring you into the miracle tone right now. I'm lining you with miracles, Scorpios. I'm going to hit it three times. What is it you're wanting? What is it you need? Thank you for tapping into me. I'm a Reiki Master Healer if you'd like a session with me. Or a private reading. Just email me. And if you don't get an answer, make sure that you go to my website and request your reading. Yes? Holy Spirit, show me my Scorpios. Show me, show me the who are the keepers of the light for Scorpio. Who's got their eye on Scorpio in the month of April 2024? Who's got their month on the collective of Scorpio? Angels, guides, Holy Spirit. My guides, your guides of a higher vibrational essence only. Righteousness only. Clarity only. Divine order. Gaia. So somebody is definitely doing some earthing in April. Somebody's definitely going on a trip and hanging out in nature. I see possibly Costa Rica, Barbados. Be mindful of the planet. Come back and stay grounded. Everything that uh, feels right is divine order. And who else guides the Scorpios in the month of April? Show me. Transcendence. Lord Shiva energy. Divine masculine. Rising up and honoring the inner force. And what else? For Scorpio. Archangel Michael. Absolutely. And he came up as your protector on my other channel as well. Trusting heaven. Okay, bottom of the deck. What do we have? Holy Spirit, show me. What is Scorpio's last message from their guides in April? Kuan Yin. Compare, care and compassion. This is what you need more than anything. Time out, vacation, feet in the sand, hammocks, healing sessions, going going to nature, leaving phones behind, tech behind, Scorpio, something like that. Third eye clearing, um, working with the planet maybe, and being divinely guided to do so, Archangel Michael. Wow. Uh, well, can't get much better than Michael. Show me what love messages are here for Scorpio. For April. The predominant love message for Scorpio. I thank you so much, Scorpios, for hitting that like button for me. So this video can, you know, go around, circulate. Emotions are a natural, necessary part of your life. They can also distort perception. And maybe cloud a vision. See things clearly, Scorpio. Let go of resentment. Don't put energy into somebody who doesn't even know you're mad at them. That's true. That's the hard part about ego, is you think you're like somebody important to somebody, and then you find out you're not. And your ego is like, uh, oh, fuck it, I'm going to prove something to them. No, you're not. You're just going to hurt yourself. Holy Spirit, show me my uh, Scorpio energy in the month of April. Show me Scorpio, someone who hasn't been a snorkel. Show me the collective. By the way, Scorpio... I have a Scorpio a sexy, I have a sexy Scorpio oil. It's called Blue Lotus Love Oil for sale. And it is fucking great. It's exotic, sultry, warm, light, earth tone, floral, sexy. Yes, it will be for sale pretty soon. I'm overcoming an eye surgery right now, which has had my vision screwed up for a week. I don't know how I did all my lives and my recordings, but I did. I have, uh, I'm guided to do so, you know, Scorps. So I'm here to, to do this. Yeah. So you're showing up as a high priestess. You're the high priestess at this moment. You've got something that you're not talking about, but you are watching somebody. <clears throat> or something you got your little eyes out you're willing to communicate but there's somebody but there's a spy energy here that's not telling you maybe you're watching somebody <coughs> excuse, excuse me that was bird or they're watching you what's crossing you is 
walking away from something unpleasant, walking away from empty cups, walking away from things that don't make you happy, walking away from bad situations, walking away from people that don't offer you anything. Like, forget it, the cups are empty, man, I'm out. And that is my Scorpio card, by the way. And that is like, okay, well, since this person's leaving in the middle of the night, it's like quietly leaving. I'm out. I'm not even going to tell anybody. That's what I hear. I'm out and I'm not telling anybody. Scorpio, what have you dealt with? Some of you had a soulmate that wasn't educated enough on how to deal with you. They weren't, um, this could have been anybody. Um, <clears throat> it's emotional. You did share emotional energy, love, nurturance with this person. Uh, they could have been a Leo. It could have been a real good relationship if somebody was narcissistic, gaslighting, and disruptive. And um, that is what you dealt with. I dealt with it. Yes, I know what it feels like. And they had no temperance at all. There was not, I, none of that honesty in that person. None of the patience. None of the um, trustworthiness that you really require to have a healthy relationship with them. So you had to leave them. What are you doing right now, Scorps? Resting and praying, meditating, praying, asking for divine guidance. Bring me into that rest place. Rest, taking time out. What else? And seeking that joy. Staying in your good heart, letting things go. Keeping that one cup under that, that uh, curtain so that people can't take your joy from you. And your joy comes from within anyway. So what is on your mind, precious Scorpio? A new start. Maybe sex, maybe a new relationship, maybe a new beginning. Energy, moving forward, a gift from God. You're waiting for a gift from God. What else is on your mind? Yep, you certainly are. Hell yes, look at you. Ace of Swords, Ace of cl cl uh, Clubs, Ace of Wands. This is a revelation. This is on your mind. The truth is, the truth is, it is what it is. And you're getting victory over all of this stuff. Yeah, healing. Healing. Clarity, sudden epiphanies, insights, and Archangel Michael. Yes? Yep. And love, being in your truest form, going to heal your heart, going to heal your soul. Some of you may be going to do ayahuasca. I know that. I have no problem with it at all. I know many, many, many practitioners of Ida. So don't be surprised. Mother Earth, Earth, Gaia. An Aya, Gaia, that makes sense? Yes. Scorpio, I think I hit something. So what does your future look like? I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not ready for that, but some of you will. I, I, I expect you will go and get rid of all kinds of demons and, and attachments or something. You might be dealing with something. You know what? Upright people have, people that have been honest with themselves have the better experience with Aya. But people who've done evil and crooked and haven't corrected it, they have to deal with that dark side within them. It comes back to, to get you, but that's all right. All right, your future is one of, um, look at this, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Not in that order. Seven of Pentacles means that you've, you've earned some kind of a blessing. You've worked on something. You've got something to protect. All right. And you're watching over it and you're protecting it. Everything you have that's of importance is solid and stable. And you're working on it and you're going to work on it. And it could be your body. For all I know, you could be going for some healing of cancer for all I know. And it's going to make you enjoy yourself and celebrate. Bear with me. I got to turn on my fan because holy moly. There's no airflow like organic airflow outside in Dallas. That's insanity to me. It almost feels like stuffy and locked up. Not for me. Okay. Let's get this thing turned where I want it. That was it. Right on me. Oh, my God. That smells good. I took a, uh, I turn on my tower fan, and then I take a uh, fabric softener sheet, and I pour my sacred oil on it. And I let it soak it up, and then I open it up and put it against the absorbing light air in the back, and it swooshes. Gorgeous scent all over my apartment. If you ever want to, like, quickly scent a room and freshen it up, that's the way to do it. But make sure you're using, you know, you're not put spraying in the back of it. Just spray on your cloth. 
and I suggest a fabric softener, but it depends on you. That was just something, something. I don't know where that came from, but all right, here goes. Holy Spirit and angels and guides, what is Scorpio showing up as? You're like, uh, listen, I got a message for you. Be very careful, Scorpio. People see you as rash and um, swift, maybe. Maybe you do a lot of talking. Maybe you tell the news. Maybe you are somebody who talks. But this is you sending out some kind of a message. Yeah. To a third party in reverse. <whistles> or that you're not going to just play. You're not going somewhere to play with these people. You're not in, you're not, this is not that kind of energy for you. What does that mean? Scorpio. Yeah, you are. Um, what does this mean? What does the Knight of Swords mean for Scorpio? There's somebody you're very, very, very aware. That's why you're keeping it to yourself. But there is a copycat. Trying to copycat your work. Copycat your love. Trying to be you. And they cannot. And you fucking know that. And you're going to put them in their spot. Too sweet. Just your spirit alone is going to put them in their spot. Tell me about that. Yeah, fuck that. You're like, fuck it. I'm starting over new. I have something beautiful new. I'm a, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm about to go forward. And I'm leaving all this mental, spiritual bullshit behind me. It is not what I want. It is somebody up in their head and doing spiritual warfare. And they are a known gaslighter, thief, dis, um, uh, mischief maker, troublemaker, um, they play you like a fiddle. Oh, hell no. You're like, no, I'm cutting your ass off. You're so cut off. Yeah, you're so cut off. Um, it could be an earth sign or somebody that has money, but they're such a bitch. They're trying to lock you into a contract you don't want. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm sorry, but that's just something that shows up. I don't know which one of you lovely Scorpios it applies to. What is your biggest concern and worry in the month of April? April, That you won't get the offer that you're waiting for? That's feasible considering you're under attack. That you won't be able to build your kingdom that you're working on? But I have news for you. You will. It is. And you have God's favor all over you. All three pentacles. There's one more. You've got the coin. You've got this, the sword. You have the means, the insight, the decision-making, the victory, the emotional victory, the new start. We have you sitting here, and the only thing you're missing is the Ace of Cups. Why is that not here? Let's see. What do we have coming forward then? Since you're not going to be building with these people, you're worried about it. There's the messenger. There's the energy pop. There's that small offer, that small new start. That It's not very big. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe. The chariot. A new car. A new home. A new location. Traveling. Maybe a cancer reaches out. This is flow. This is ebb and flow. This is movement. This is nonstop um, psychic development. What else, please? And love and compassion will find you where you're going. And you will like this because I think this person is producing within you a divine match. I think there's a divine match here. And it, it looks very loving and very kind. A divine match. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody that's got the heart for you. Might be a Cancer. Yeah. 
What did what will this can how will you know it's this cancer? Because they went through an ending to find you. They went through a process to find you, Scorpio. Yes, there it is, the Ace of Cups. You have all four aces. Yeah, you do. Oh my God. This is an amazing reading. Scorpio. Scorpio. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is a divine union and it is orchestrated by God, not other people. And whatever you go through, whatever you're doing, you, you have something really interesting coming in and I think it's gonna really blow your mind. That's why you gotta cut out the bitches immediately. Anybody that comes to you with negativity on any level, way, shape or form, are reminders of your past, or reminders of who they are, cut their ass off. That's what God said. Cut them off. You are free to go, Scorpio. You have love showing up, but there's something you got to watch out for. It has to do with your work. These copycats can't do shit to you. You might have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the background, and they're so fucking deceitful. All they want, they want to be you. That's what I heard. They just want to be you, but they're not you, and they cannot be you. And, um, that's evidenced by the fact that you keep so much to yourself that you're not, even if you were a teacher or a trainer of what you do, they can't copy it. It's spiritual. All right. So if you think you're going to copy a Scorpio, you better get the fuck out. You're not. Scorpios do not. They cannot be copied. They carry a war within them. Do you want to stir up the war within Scorpio? I don't think so. You understand? Could be the death of you. Like that. Scorpio's got a tail. They don't pull out unless you push them there. And Scorpio will do one of two things to you if you're a bitch. They'll finally wake up to it and say, fuck it, I need a break, I'm done. And go in hiding. They'll ghost you faster than any sign. Because you're not even worthy of an answer from them. You did something to them to cause them to like, Blank you out. And Scorpio will do that. Scorpio has to heal. And then you have the um, the narcissistic shit. You know what I mean? The Scorpio will pull that tail out and psh, you snap you with it. However, Scorpios, be cautious with that reaction simply because of the fact that it can cause a backlash you do not want. So you got to be like super temperate, okay? You have to be... Who's coming towards you? A new soulmate. Eight of Wands, fast moving. Communication. And. Okay, that's not it. Queen of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, towards Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want? To make an offer to you. Yeah, that's an offer you're waiting for. And and also choosing from your heart in April, what is the best choice for you? And the four of coins wants to come out and tell you to hold back, hold back, hold back from somebody. There's something there. They want information out of you, Scorpio. Don't give it to them. Anybody that isn't coming to you and you don't trust, just don't. There you are. There's your love. There you are. Yep. So you've got absolutely gorgeous love coming in and God doesn't want you to miss that. And you're, but those people do. And if you have an offer or finances coming in, they don't want you to get that either. They're working real hard in the background. Yeah. Let's bring in the miracle tone again. I don't think so. For my Scorpios. Right, Scorps. Let's see what the angels say for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In the near future. I like the sound of that. It actually fits. What else, Holy Spirit? 
if you believe faith is the required element to make things happen. And they will be big, happy changes. Be assertive in cutting people off. Look for signs for helpful people. Listen to your intuition. Do not compromise. Something will change within the next few months. Be sure to ask for help if you need it. And you're about to experience improving health. A great amount of improving of your health, my Scorpio loves. All right. Again, thank you for hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, hitting the all bell. I really appreciate that. But don't you forget your Y-O-U-R Wellness Tarot 777. Go see me. I'll cover you from that angle, too, which is a lot more than just once a month. Okay. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Revelation 21, 6. Go to the waters, go to Gaia, go to heal, and go away from these people, Scorpio, so that you can hear from God directly and draw that new love towards you because you've got a big surprise coming, and I think you should claim it. I thank you for being here with me, and if you would like to tap in to your own energies and see if there's something you don't see, or if somebody's working against you, or someone's slowing down your progress, who it is, I have I have these amazing cards that tell me who it is and what their intention is. So reach out if you need a reading. I appreciate it. My website or my um, email. Okay. Scorpios, love you. Thank you. Namaste.